Hello everyone, Mark Chess here. Welcome to the channel and for today's video, I'll be giving you my performance review of the Din Witty One from 361. Let's go. So guys, we are currently in a different setting now. So a little change of pace. Would you like it if I do some more vlogging like this and shoe reviews like this? Let me know in the comments down below. So we're just here in the gym and I'm currently testing out the Dinwiddie One from 361 brand. It is a China brand that is known for the AG line Aaron Garden signature sneaker, which was a surprise to me since the AG One. So far, the AGs are still doing great. The AG3, I had a review on that. I'll put the link down in the description below. But they got another basketball player, which is an NBA player too. This is Spencer Dinwiddie, of course. He is together now with Brooklyn. Yeah, still with Brooklyn. He was from Brooklyn, Dallas, then back to Brooklyn. And this is his first signature sneaker from 361. And I believe the colorway is called the Bitcoin colorway. And as you can see, there's a logo here that looks like a Bitcoin logo. So I think he is into Bitcoin. So if you are, let me know. I actually played with Bitcoin for quite some time, but not too, not too hard, not too serious. Just trying out the Bitcoin world. And let's get back to the sneaker. So I had these for a couple of weeks already. I haven't gotten back to them since I got injured because I don't want to really compensate my review on this one since this Dinwiddie is kind of a low profile sneaker so I want my knees to be in tip-top shape and right now I believe I'm in a better condition to give you my review on the Dinwiddie. First up of course we talk about the upper which is made out of the mesh upper that is not fused but it is hard mesh and it won't stretch at all if you can see this mesh it is fused but not the plastic type of fuse which is great because because it doesn't crunch up when you bend your foot so there's no sound to it and what's nice about this is like I've said it doesn't stretch at all the lattice support of this material is really really nice plus combining it with this fuse here this transparent fuse and this plastic piece here on the toe area which will give, of course, the Dinwiddie really a very durable toe area. And speaking of durability, as you can see on the lateral part, you can see some stitches here to give more rigidity to the middle part of the sneaker. i sorry, middle part, this is the middle part, and this is the lateral part. And it won't be stretching at all which is really nice when I was doing my lateral cuts on this it was really holding my foot down to the footbed which is really really nice on the Dinwiddie plus the lacing system really helps out too I'm not too sure where this goes but there's a strap here in the forefoot and I believe it's just kind of pulls your the, your material or the toe area together with the lateral and medial side of the sneaker which I think it's a good innovation plus the lacing system of this one one side has the fast lacing type where you can really pull it easily while on the medial side it has lace holes the traditional lace holes here so overall the fit is really nice on the Dinwiddie um, take note that this is a little bit of a narrow sneaker so watch out for a size and my size that they sent me is this is a US 10 and the euro is 44 I think I could fit perfectly on a 44.5 euro because that's my usual euro size and all my other sneaker so I would suggest if you're trying out a 361 and you're gonna plan to get this Dinwiddie make sure to cop it with your euro size and not your US size because they are kind of different usually on Chinese brands so take note of that so this one feels a little bit more snug than usual because it's smaller than my size but I was able to play with them 
and like I've said, it fits really nicely. It's just that it's a little bit narrow, but if I get, I believe if I get the 44.5, it will fit me perfectly. And as for the tongue, it has a traditional tongue and it has perforations from the toe to the midfoot while at the ankle part is padded. It's not too padded, but still very comfortable. There's no discomfort and it goes up really nicely and show that logo of Dinwiddie plus this pull tab on the tongue to make it easier to put your foot in plus the string that acts as pull tabs also helps out in the opening so you can see really see that it opens up really nicely and you can easily wear this very quickly when you're hooping as for heel containment lockdown there's enough padding but i wish that they added a little bit more but there is ample padding and heel containment lockdown was really good of course get the right size right as for ankle mobility no problem since this is a really low cut sneaker it's very easy to move your ankle with this one heel slippage not a problem at all and there's an internal heel cup here that cups your heel quite nicely Plus this plastic piece here that goes around, if you can see this plastic piece, goes around to the lateral part until the mid part of the sneaker also acts as heel containment plus it gives extra torsional support and I believe it also helps out in the spring back of the sneaker. There's an additional torsional shank plate at the bottom too that really helps out in the spring back of the DIN release. And speaking of spring back, you can see how springy it is even though this is not a carbon fiber shank but it gives a lot of spring back to the sneaker which I'm really surprised with but at first you really have to break it in first because it will be feeling a little bit stiff at first so don't give up on it first but keep on playing with them and as soon as you have broken in the Dinwiddie once it will really feel really nice, especially when you're running up and down the floor a lot. If you're a guard, you will feel it like you're propelling. Plus, the cushion that they are using here is the Energe X. That's what they're calling their foam for the Dinwiddie. And I believe it kind of feels like a Naito injected foam because at first you would feel it to be stiff, but after breaking and warming up the foam, it will really be bouncy even though it's a really low to the ground cushion and quite surprised with it too i thought it was really stiff at first but after i use it especially now when i was just using it the whole time and it feels bouncy even for a low profile foam plus the impact protection the heel is really nice i'm not too sure if it's still energy x but there's no label to it but it feels really nice for impact protection the heel given that this is a really low profile sneaker so for the cushion setup i'm impressed that for a low profile sneaker it feels bouncy in the forefoot and a good amount of impact protection around the heel now let's move on to the traction of the dinwiddie you can see the traction i'm not too sure what to call this it's a multi-directional traction pattern the rubber compound is Rubstech, if I'm not mistaken. It's written here. The rubber is really thick and hard, but it is still pliable in some sense. As you can see, I'm bending it here. It kind of is moving, so I don't know how the Chinese brand does this, but they make really hard rubber, but at the same time still pliable so indoor use on a clean court it was really gripping really hard there's a lot of squeak and the first time that i test this out i was playing in a very dusty floor and it was still gripping really nicely that's one thing that you don't need to break in is the traction of the dinwiddie it was gripping right out of the box which was really impressive and as for outdoor use i think you can hoop with this outdoors because of how hard the rubber is and how thick the patterns are. Although it's not too deep, but I believe it still will hold up for outdoor use. 
There's a nice curve in the forefoot for a good heel to toe transition. And the heel is just a little bit curved here, but I didn't feel any clunkiness when I was running up and down the floor with this, especially this has a very nice impact protection to it. So very nice heel to toe transition for me, for the Dinwiddie Plus, the stability of it for a shooter like Spencer because he likes to move off the ball a lot and fix his foot for a jump shot and I believe he really likes it to be wide here too on the lateral part even though there's a no lateral outrigger but the foam goes on an angle so it acts as a lateral outrigger too if you are looking at it from the front view you can see this angle is really protruding so it gives you a very nice balance to the Dinwiddie. So for the sizing of the Dinwiddie, like I've said, go to your Euro size if you're not too familiar with Chinese brand. So go with your Euro size if you haven't tried out Chinese brands yet. So for the price of this, this is I think 100 US dollars. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm gonna check it out right now. Let me see, let me see. So for the price of the Dinwiddie, it is just $80. So if you're looking for a budget sneaker and you want to try other brands like a 361, a Chinese brand, I mean, this is a must try if you are more on the budget. And in terms of the performance for an $80 sneaker, I think it's totally worth it. So let me know if you have played with them and if you're planning to cop a pair, hit me a comment down below. This has been Mark Chess once again. Thank you for dropping by the channel. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.